Hi, it's Leanne from Leanne Says Hi. I'm here with a new video that um, I know I've done before. It's the what's inside my clinical bag, but I recently got a new clinical bag. So I would like to go through it and show kind of what I've changed with um, last semester or first semester, what I would bring to now third semester, what I would bring to clinicals or in my car while I go to clinicals. So I'm going to start off with introducing the bag. So I got the bag off of Amazon and I will link it in the description. But it is Crocher. Um, so it looks like this. Very simple. Um, black. It's waterproof. I can wipe it down. So good for clinical. Definitely right now with the pandemic. Um, so let's jump into it. I'm going to start with our side pockets. So in this pocket, I don't have anything right now. Um, I've been using it to get used to what I, like how I like it with taking it to work. So I may have forgotten some things, but I'm preparing it because school starts in about two more weeks or so. So here, on this pocket, I have wet ones, so they're just hand wipes, so it was a car version, like a cup holder to put in the cup holder, so I have that. I need to find more of these. I'm using them sparingly, but Clorox, wipe, Clorox wipes, um, like the to-go pack. So. That's the two things in this side pocket that I keep. Whoops. I had problems picking out what kind of bag I wanted. Um, and I wanted it to be cute, but something that's realistic. So this one ended up working out for me. And it can be used for anything. So I use it right now for work. Okay, so next pocket is this front zipper pocket. I have snacks. Just some beef jerky in there at the moment. My coin purse. Normally it's in my purse, but because I've been going to work, I take my bag with me to sit down wherever I'm charting instead of my purse. So I would just put my coin purse in there. I have some index cards in case I get a chance to write down some notes or anything. I have knockoff brand of Elite. I believe it won't focus in for me. And then just some menstrual acetaminophen with caffeine. Kind of period. I have a little panty liner, some tampons, my headphones. So if I, if I want to listen to a lecture or something or something on the computer or anything, or sometimes after um, my clinicals, I go and study or get my clinical paperwork ready. So that way I have something to listen to music to while I get my assignments ready. And then lastly, we have some TikToks. TikToks and what flavor scent? It's sweet mint and rain. And it says love wins. I got it from Bath and Body Works. And that is it in that pocket. So now we'll move on to the big inside pocket. Okay. So on the big inside pocket, it zips and then it buttons here. So it kind of keeps it together. I can carry it or use it as a backpack. I don't carry it very often. If I carry it, I'm like carrying it just to go sit down at the 
charting station desk that I'm at. Otherwise, I'm using the backpack. Okay. So I kind of just prepped this for the video and roughly what I would carry whenever going to clinicals. I don't obviously pull all of these out while at clinical, but I have it so that I have my resources for after clinical. Um, so first I have, my boyfriend got this for me, Aromatherapy Comfort. Um, so vanilla extract, it, it smells really good. Help oh, calm me down. Oh, I guess I should show you this. So, hard to see, but I have a big flap here, little flap here. And then on this side, I have a pocket, which I guess I'll just show this now. So in that pocket, I would normally keep my um, little charger and the charger here. So the, the good thing about this backpack and why I kind of picked it out was it has the ability to charge like a phone, my recorder, anything. So as long as it's USB. So it has a built-in already there USB cord. And then you plug in your items right here to the USB adapter. So I can charge my phone on the go or anything like that as long as my charger is charged. So it's charging now. That's why it's not currently in here. But yes, okay. So back to what I was saying. I have this pocket that I normally put the charger in, a pencil, a blue pen, another pocket here that I just have, some pens, and a highlighter, and the pens are just real basic paper mate, nothing fancy. Um, and then there's a little mesh pocket here that I have. A little flashlight for my keychain um, for clinicals. One of my friends gave me this um, angel for my scrubs to go on my pot. I like scrubs. Ponytail. Another ponytail. Oh, okay. And this um, is a little light that you can plug into the, the, what is this called? The battery pack that I showed you. So I can use it as like a little USB flashlight or book reader. Don't know when I'd use it or where, but I have it. Now we'll go into the more fun, exciting parts. Oh, and there's a, another pocket in here. It's hard to tell, but it's where my case is. I have a pocket to hold my stethoscope case. But first, uh, let's see. So in this big flap I have, it can hold like your laptop or anything, but with my laptop case, I have my um, mouse and my USB is my charger cord for it. So it makes it bulky. So I don't like putting it in there. So what I have is my folder for school or for clinical. So it has like different criteria of, sorry some different like criteria of what to look for, Oops. what to look for whenever I'm doing my clinical paperwork, as well as um, kind of what they like to look at or what we actually want on our clinical paperwork or like basically our student care plans, but for the patients, because it's obviously different than what action is to kind of have. Then I have my calendar or my planner, just the basic, uh, let's see, very basic uh, monthly. And then I haven't written it, written in it very much. Then the weekly planner part, I just need something 
very basic to hold all my stuff, keep me organized. And the next little pocket, so we just went through this big pocket. Now there's a little pocket here. I just have my foldable clipboard. I use this at work and at clinical. It's um, very helpful to keep me organized and keep my stuff organized in a clipboard so I don't set it down and forget it because it's easy to sit down paper. It's easy to sit down this too. If I if I can't use it, then I just use my paper and keep it in my in my scrub pants normally. So next what I have in here, again I don't necessarily pull this out every time I'm at clinical or probably never while I'm at clinical um, because I just don't have anywhere to put it in my pockets. But I have the Davis Drip Guide labeled kind of things that I'm I was using last semester as well as a little pocket guide for my whoops, for my nursing care plans. I guess I didn't show you the Davis Drug Guide very well, but there's the Drug Guide book. And that's it for that big pocket. So like I explained my I have like it's meant for like maybe a water bottle or something to hold something in your um, backpack, but I don't trust it's waterproof, water resistant in here as well. But I just I don't like putting things that could possibly burst or open and get everything else wet. So I have my stethoscope case. This goes with me. I bring this out and then I just pull everything out of here to bring with me. So obviously I have my stethoscope, the Littman 3M. And then behind it, I just have a little pad notebook. Um, sometimes when I get to clinicals, they don't really give students um, Cardexes or they have experienced some where they don't provide Cardexes at all. You give a report on a blank sheet of paper. I don't like that, but in case I don't have that option, I have my little notepad. And sometimes you just, you need to quickly drop things down. So on this side, I have a pencil. I don't normally use it. I kind of, it's there in my pocket to scribble on my cardexes. But whenever I'm actually doing like nursing things, I have my black and blue pen. But I'm trying to, these are like spares for me maybe. I want to use this one. Um, it has black, blue, red, and purple. The purple would just be for me to update changes on my Cardexes or um, on my care plan, because since I can't sign anything with purple. Um, then I have my little pen light. It has um, like pupil dilation, things that I can kind of examine and know. I have a hemostat. Oh, what I just realized I don't have in here because it's in my car because I use it for as a CNA in the hospital is my trauma scissors. I put them in here normally or on this side normally um, just so that I have scissors because nurses will often ask you for scissors. And I have the school provided um, pin light. I don't like this one as much, so it's a backup. So that is pretty much it on my clinical bag. Um, what's inside my clinical bag? I try not to carry too much now because Again, I'm, that's a lot of weight, um, and that's just what's in the bag. If I know I'm going to study or get my care plan done after, I will 
just put in my car the textbooks that I'll be using, the study guide, um, anything else I kind of need whenever I go meet up with my friends. And this is my kind of more my clinical bag. So this is not my backpack. Um, my backpack I did a video about. I'll link that in the description. I think I'm going to reuse that backpack and use it for this semester. I think I can get one more semester out of it, hopefully. Um, and then I was working on a video to get, like, how do I study? And I should have made it while I was actually in school because now that I'm out of school, it's kind of hard to show everything. But I want to do a video about that and explain like how I was kind of studying because I went through a process of not really like I knew how to study, but I wasn't as successful as I wanted to be. So then I went from like one step of a process to adding things and adding things until the final, I really found out like what helped me to study. So I think that's beneficial to someone else. And I would like to share that experience with you guys so that if you kind of study like me, then you can hopefully pass. Um, and then I would like to do another video of my clinical um, paperwork. I have had a few requests and I finally finished my summer course, so I have a little bit more free time while I'm not working in the hospital. So I'd like to try to make some videos for you guys. If you liked this video, go ahead and like it and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye.